Alright guys, Zed Rickenbach here, and I'm bringing you the MC Skin 3D uh, editor tool for Minecraft. So, uh, this is, uh, what, it, ugh. <clears throat> Alright, Zed Rickenbach here, and I'm bringing you the MC Skin 3D uh, editor tool for Minecraft. So, essentially, is it's just a skin editor where you make custom uh, uh, skins for your character while you play Minecraft. So, um... What really breaks it apart from the group is from other editors is the uh, you can have the 2D view, the 3D view, then you can have both at the same time, which is really good and nice. Um, you also have some brushes and uh, editor tools like uh, the noise. So pretty much what it does it makes this kind of pixelated looking kind of thing, kind of randomly pixelates stuff. Like uh, let's turn it up a little bit. It's just you can up you can uh up the radius on it you can just do a bunch of stuff uh now you got the uh bucket tool you just fill up a certain area with a certain color you, the one you want like that uh now we got the darken and bright darken and line tool as it implies you just you line up the colors and such and the darken tool darkens the colors pretty self explanatory uh, okay, at the exposure, of course, <coughs> and you got the dodge and burn tool, which it, it just uh, kind of brines up, like it kind of makes it a little more gray. The dodge tool, the burn tool makes it more grungy and burnt looking and dirty. Then you got the uh, dropper tool, which uh, it just picks a specific color and you can use it with the uh, any other. Tool. Then you have the eraser, of course. It just erases the colors. Then you got the pencil tool, which uh, you can make details with it, pixel by pixel, or you can expand the brush by 19 pixels, or make it a circle, or you can make it a square in different sizes. Uh, then you have the undo and redo button, which is a uh, <coughs> mo. Uh, I don't think any other editor has these. So if you make a mistake, you can just undo it. There you go, it's all fixed. And um, now let's move on to the color selection. Okay, so with the new version, he has adopted this uh, this kind of circle and triangle way. So the triangle is use is the, the the intensity of the color versus the darkness and the lightness, and the circle is just what color you want. So yeah, and the same for the HVS, HSVAs, and the and uh, then you got the uh, opacity tool, which it makes it you can see through the color. So we'll just uh, you can see still see through the colors, <coughs> which is pretty sweet. Then uh, you got your swatches, which is, is just uh, preset colors that you can use and already been grouped. What what is cool is you can make your own groups of swatches, or you can use Adobe's swatch uh, swatch groups or GIMPs, <coughs> which is really nice. And then uh, yeah, then you have these uh, uh, their own group of swatches, which is really nice. <coughs> and uh, then we can uh, switch to other mobs and edit their. Hold on, we can edit their. Uh, textures and stuff like we can go to the uh let's go to the snowman now we can just go blah, blah, snowman yeah snowman and you can just do that for <laughs> every single mob which is really cool so pretty much it's a texture pack and a skin editor which is really cool yeah, let's go to the ozalot the cat the kitty kitty so this is the only editor that actually can do it that I believe. So it's really cool, and we can go and we can go to the. Actually, we can go to the blocks. <coughs> Wait, I believe we can go to the blocks, or maybe we can't. Uh, must be for the later patch, but I thought that we had them. Oh well. So you can have villager, you know, it's just a bunch of other stuff. It's 
pretty dang cool. Not gonna lie. You can also do all the hostile ones, like a gas. Like, then, then you just upload it, then you're done. So, yeah. The link will be in the description, and I will see you next time. Ed Rickenbacker, out.